Hello everybody and welcome to the Richmond Raceway for the Toyota Owners 400 in the 7th race of our 2024 NASCAR Cup Series and 2003 season. We are green and underway here in Richmond. Kyle Larson leads us to the green, clearing Josh Berry and Christopher Bell early here into Turn 1. Larson still looking for the, his first win in the regular season since 2022. He won a couple races in the playoffs after, after missing the playoffs last season. Trying to get the win here today in Richmond. Leading Josh Berry, a very good short track racer himself in real life, is runner up in this race, subbing for Chase. Elliott, but Larson will lead the opening lap of racing here at Richmond into turn one. And now on to lap 31. Larson still leading caution out on the racetrack. There's a huge pile up here into three and four. That's Cindric, Blaney, LaJoy, and Byron have all wadded it up here coming out of turn Coming into turn three, LaJoy Byron slammed the wall. They clean out Cindric and Blaney, collect the 15 of Kaz Grala, who in a big crash here to three four. Byron, of course, your Phoenix race winner. Some bad luck striking into 24 now here at Richmond as he gets turned by Corey LaJoy. Head on to this inside wall, a hard hit bounces right up into the path of Grala, Blaney, and Cindric, who have pile who pile in, having nowhere to go. Five car crash off into three and four here to bring our first caution of the night here. Richmond upside down. We got one up. Upside down, that is the 51 of Justin Haley. Upside down, he turns Ryan Priest into the wall, bounces off the Neiman check. Haley is hit by Bubba Wallace and then T-boned by Eric Jones, which flips Justin Haley upside down here into three and four. Zane Smith, as you notice in the background, also gets turned around by his own teammate, Carson Hosevar, into the outside wall hard, but Haley up and over. And a huge crash here at Richmond. A two separate incidents bringing our first caution of the night and a wild start to this one in Richmond as Larson leads Barry. Now Josh Barry will lead on lap 36. Out of the race now you have Busher and Gilliland as well as Byron, LaJoy, and Haley leaving just 31 in the race, 30 in the lead lap. Kaz Grala currently one lap down as Barry leads the way. Chastain in second trying to go back-to-back -back wins here. Got done at Coda last week. Can he do it again here at Richmond behind us? Three wide for third. Bell, Elliott, and Bowman getting after it. But is Josh Barry leading the way here? Richmond having a great start to this race, trying to get his rookie season off to a flying start of the win here. Hasn't been so great so far, but trying to get a good win here in Richmond. A statement of victory. And oh, behind us, Harrison Burns in the wall in the background. And Burns going to get hit by Bubba Wallace. And that will bring out the caution as Harrison Burton goes around here in Richmond. As there's a, another incident behind him. Stenhouse and Nemechek went crashing behind him as well. And then Burton got hit off of Gibbs, lost it into the outside wall, right in the path of Bubble Wall. So it had nowhere to go. Slams into the back of Harrison Burton. Damages Tyler Reddick a little bit as well, trying to check up to avoid Bubba. But what happened back here to Nemechek and Stenhouse? Looks like Stenhouse hits the inside wall, just closes right up into Nemechek, who somehow loses the back end of his car on the inside of Denny Hamlin right there. They both crash, slap the outside wall. Of course, Burton and Wallace also involved in the incident. Bring out caution number two on the night here in Richmond as uh, the incidents start to really uh, stack up here so far. Only two so far, nothing crazy, but at the front, Josh Berry leads now. Watching the lap car, Kaz Grali here on lap 46, racing Daniel Suarez and Noah Gregson. Of course, everyone's going by him. Just finds that half the packs disappeared. What is happening back here? We got to rewind because there should be more cars back here. And yeah, we had a big incident back here coming out of three and four. Looks like Austin Dillon turns a 71 of Zane Smith right in Kyle Larson who led the first 30 laps of this race. Blaney goes around. Burton gets collected. Of course, the most important thing is Larson getting involved in this. He's your pole sitter. Led the first 30 laps before a pit stop. Now got put in the back of this mess. Gets involved in this incident. Brings out the caution as Josh Berry, who's taken over ever since, will lead the way here. 47 laps into the Richmond night race. And now watching Bubba Wallace here on that 53. Another lap car. He's super slow way off the pace from all the incidents he has been involved in tonight. He's just trying to survive to the end of this thing. As is everyone else behind him trying to get by him here. Get back into contention. Josh Berry, Austin Sindrick driving their way forwards here down this back straightaway. Berry, oh, behind him. got a car spinning. He's Ryan Priest. Indeed, Ryan Priest in the 41 has gone around here in Richmond. And I'll bring out the caution. Only a single car spin, though. Just a minor little uh, hit to the inside wall here for Priest. He should be okay, be able to continue. He has no bumper, though, which is quite interesting. Uh, but we will continue on. Caution down the racetrack, and it will be your race here will right now be the one of Ross Chastain. And now, once again, watching Bubba Wallace Lap Curry has been around all sorts of incidents today, holding up Suarez and Gibbs. Suarez dies. Oh, and up in front of him, Larson and Elliott into the wall, out of the groove, losing multiple positions on the racetrack. Problems for the Hendrick teammates of Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott off into turn four. What has happened here? The replay is like going to 
four. Larson hits Elliott, slams Elliott to the fence hard. Larson somehow avoids Elliott, then makes some more counting with him to three and four, and they lose uh, like a solid six, seven spots on the racetrack. Larson and Elliott drop all the way back here with Keselowski and company after a disastrous turn of events right there, costing them multiple positions on the racetrack. And Larson, though, able to drive his way back by Kislowski and Hamlin now. He set his sights on chasing down Reddick and Bowman the next two cars ahead. Of course, Larson, your pole sitter, led the first three laps. A very fast race car as now Michael McDowell leads in Richmond. As now we move on here to two to go. Uh, well, coming to two to go here in stage one. McDowell's leading Logano in second, Chastain third, Bush fourth, Larson fifth. And look at McDowell's being held up by the lap car. Bubba Wallace down to three and four. Look at all the time he's losing by his. Here comes Logano and Chastain. McDowell's still stuck behind Bubba Wallace. I don't know why he hasn't moved to the inside lane yet. He's going to lose all this time. Two to go in stage one. Logano and Chastain now right to the back bumper of Michael McDowell trying to steal the stage win away. After McDowell refuses for some reason to pass Bubba Wallace. And now here comes Joey. Logano to the inside. Logano looking for the stage win with help from Chastain. Larson's mixing it up with Bush back there, but McDowell gets the outside. Powers through. Prevails in the lead. Last lap of stage one. McDowell in the lead. Three wide with Bubba Wallace back there are Chastain and Logano. Wallace in the middle. Got the Chevys of Larson and Bush back here as well. Bush gets stacked up back there. Larson goes by and looks like McDowell's going to hold on. As we go through three and four of the final time here in stage one, Michael McDowell will win stage one here at Richmond. Logano second, Chastain third, Larson fourth, Bush fifth, Bell sixth, Bowman seventh, Briscoe eighth, Truex ninth, and last stage one goes to Ty Gibbs as Michael McDowell is your stage one winner here in Richmond. Now you watch Martin Truex Jr. race. Ryan Priest. Oh, Bubba Wallace gets shoved in the fence right there by Ty Gibbs through the corner. Gibbs having enough of the lap guard. Bubba Wallace puts him in the wall. Makes him lose a ton of time on the racetrack as he goes through three and four. Down this front straight. Caution down the racetrack. We got a big wreck. Josh Berry, Reddick, and Kislowski in front of the pack. Suarez, Priest have damage piling into this. But big here. What happened to Josh Berry? One of the best cars all night long. Gets turned around here by, it looks like, Bell and Bowman. It's coming out of turn four. It's like Bell just clips Bowman and turns him right down into the side of Josh Berry. Josh Berry and Bowman both slam the wall hard. Berry off of Christopher Bell. Spins back in the outside wall. Bowman dodges Berry that time. And then Berry comes right down the path of Redding. Kazowski is double drilled right there. Vicious hit. From the 6 and the 45 to the 4. Unlucky for those guys. Having Barry slide down right in front of them. And they are destroyed as well. As now of course we get a replay of what happened here. This is going through 3 and 4. Bell just clips Bowman into Josh Berry. And Josh Berry's days, nights can be done after this. After a really strong run. Leading about 14, 16 laps or so early. Now completely destroyed out of this race. As well as Redick and Kislowski who are done. Redick is your points leader coming in. He will be out. Kislowski's tough start to the year continues. And at the front of the field, it will be Kyle Larson back in the lead in Richmond. As I move on here, lap 127, Bubba Wallace still an incredibly slow lap car, holding up Denny Hamlin, Austin Sindrick. Lap check, everyone trying to get by here through this corner. That was going to be some contact. Dylan's going to turn Stenhouse up to Hamlin in the wall. They go. Hamlin, Dylan, Stenhouse, Wallace in the outside wall. Caution out again. More damage to Bubba as well as Austin Dylan. Uh, this back of the pack shenanigans, the wreck fest really starting to erupt here in Richmond, but this is what, what we've come to expect in the past years as Chastain leads Larson. And now a few laps later, Sindrick off of Stenhouse into the wall. Goes Sindrick, Ty Dillon, and Stenhouse. Hard on the wall, they go through turn two. Caution out again, Chastain in the lead. Now here on lap 198, this is about with seven to go in stage two. McDowell in the lead once again, trying to sweep the stages, but Larson's just driven his way up in the second, passing Ross Chastain now, catching these two. Larson, clearly the fastest car on the racetrack, is flying now to the inside of Michael McDowell. Here comes Larson to the inside of McDowell. Larson will go. McDowell holds on down this front straightaway, but Larson's going to send it in one and two and force his way underneath Michael McDowell, force McDowell out of the groove. Larson to the point and to the lead here. Richmond with a beautiful pass right there on Michael McDowell. Larson is cooking, trying to get that stage two win here as we go down this front straightaway. Larson leads away, McDowell second, Chastain third, a wave of lap track they have to go through. And now we want to come into two laps to go in stage two. Larson with a comfortable gap over Chastain and McDowell with a lap car of Gregson in between. Has negotiated lap track perfectly and now on the last lap of the stage here, it's going to be Larson looking to bring home the stage victory and a playoff point which will be his first of the season here in 2024 looking to get pave his way to the playoffs this season after missing it last season 
Uh, definitely in this universe. Uh, definitely trying to make it back here this season. He's ran very well so far this season. Working his way up the point standings as Kyle Larson will win stage two at Richmond. Second will be Chastain. McDowell third. Fourth is Elliott. Fifth is Bowman. Sixth will be Joy Logano. Seventh will be Christopher Bell in the 20. Eighth is going to be Chase Briscoe. Ty Gibbs ninth and last stage point. Going to go all the way back here to the 11 of Denny Hamlin. The last car on the lead lap will come home and earn one stage point as it is Kyle Larson, your stage two winner in Richmond. Now Ross Chastain leads the way on the 276 and Michael McDowell has crashed with Stenhouse. McDowell, one of the favorites. Well, your stage one winner was running top five all night long. He's now crashed. We catch the very end of it as he crashes in the outside wall with Ricky Stenhouse and McDowell's hopes may have now been dashed for victory today. And that could be costly. He's looking for a second win on the season. Would have been huge for that front row team. But he will crash as Chastain continues to lead. Now on to just two laps to go in Richmond. Only 18 left in the race. Chastain leading flies by lap car Hosevar. It looks like Chastain will go back to back wins here in the Cup Series. Won at Coda last week. About to win once again here in Richmond. And be on a hot streak to start 2024. Be your new championship favorite. The one of Chastain. Most top 10s out of anybody in the series. White flag in the air. Final lap. Presented by Credit One Bank at Richmond for Ross Chastain. Can he hang on and get the victory here? Richmond go back to back and get his fourth career Cup Series victory in this universe as he works his way through three and four now for the final time. We are going to see a watermelon smash tonight as Ross Chastain will win at Richmond. Back to back victories for the track house driver. And here comes Denny Hamlin coming home one lap down in sixth place. Behind him, Noah Gregson is four laps down in tenth. There is Joy Logano coming home second. Then you have Ty Gibbs coming home third. Priest ended up in seventh. Then you have Bell in fourth, Bowman in fifth. And then, of course, Hamlin, Priest, uh, Truex, Dillon, and Greg's in the top ten. But Chastain gets the win here at Richmond. Back-to-back -back wins, four career wins here for the young driver for Trackhouse Race. You see the final race results on the left side of your screen. And the long list of DNFs according, uh, in accordion with that. And we'll see the updated playoff grid momentarily. And yes, gets a little hot down in Florida. Now we got a Georgia one. <laughs> Who would have thought? Smashing a now after the playoff grid, of course, Chastain shoots to the top of the board. Our first multi-time winner this season with back-to-back -back victories. Bell, Byron, McDowell, Gregson, Gibbs are other winners. Reddick, Blaney, Larson, Austin, Dillon, Bowman, and Zane Smith still pretty comfortable on the point standings. Wallace plus 21. Chase Elliott plus 18. Stenhouse still hanging in there at plus 6 above the cut line. Truex currently only 2 points above his teammate Denny Hamlin at the bubble. Suarez out by 8. Priest out by 14. Logano out by 18. And Keselowski out by 21. So until the next episode, we'll be the Cup Racing at Martinsville next week. I hope you all have a good one.